What's up everyone? Welcome to Heralds of Hispania, Legionnaires here. And we are going to be playing a Spain in Victoria 3, patch 1.5. I've been really excited about this, love this game, been a long time fan and I feel like this patch has just done so much for the game. It's added local economies and just kind of revitalized it for me. Um, it has been a while since I've played so it might take some time for me to kind of re familiarize myself with everything. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our technology tree. Spain kind of starts a little bit further behind than what other nations start with, if I recall. Um, I'm thinking atmospheric engines or lathes. We'll do lathes to start out with for our research. We'll take a look at our economy here on our market, see what's out of balance. We have a big deficit for wood and grain as well. Um, as far as our buildings go, I think our construction, we're still using wooden buildings. We're going to want to switch those to iron frames, but I think before we do that, we're going to build some logging camps around. Um, we can take a look at the local prices for wood. Seems like it's really high in Castile, Toledo, basically everywhere except for Aragon, Navarra, and Galatia. So we'll go ahead and get some wood or logging camps queued up uh, Valencia will do well let's check the earnings I always I'm unsure if this is actually very accurate but I tend to go with it sometimes to put buildings in places that will have higher earnings do Western and uh, Lucia uh, we also before I forget we're gonna add the edict the road maintenance to Madrid uh, we got a couple of those queued up. Maybe we want a couple more logging camps. Definitely in Castile. Um, and then we're going to add some to Puerto Rico as well. And the Canary Islands. Uh, let's take a look at our alert. The reason why I did add it to Puerto Rico and Canary Islands is a lot of those pops are below the minimum expected standard of living. So hopefully those logging camps will be able to lift those guys out of poverty. Um, we have low organization for the Armada. We'll add a commander. I'm thinking... What is this? Rural folk. I'm going to go with the... Intelligentsia. Then we'll go to the second Spanish army. They need a commander. And... Adamant defense pillage. Let's see... Plus 20% supply consumption. This guy's pretty good. Uh, Mateo Ruiti. He will be our commander of the second Spanish army. Take a look at what else we can do. Look at our government. We have the Catholic Church and the Intel Intelligentsia in charge. Um, our government legitimacy is kind of low. See if we can do anything to bolster that up. Uh, we could throw the armed forces into the mix, which I think we will do. Bring our legitimacy up to 82, so we'll confirm that. Take a look at our laws. First thing, we're going to want colonialism. Now, I always struggle deciding between colonial exploitation or colonial resettlement. Taking a look at some of these modifiers. So you get a lot more throughput with colonial exploitation, which I think we'll do that just to be kind of historically accurate. Not saying that this will be a historically accurate playthrough, but we'll just kind of role play that. Hopefully we can get that to pass through. It's only 8% success chance. Um, oh, we're also going to, I guess, suppress, oh, we can't suppress the landowners. Hmm. Maybe bolster the armed forces. And what else do we need to do? Take a look at the market. We're going to get those logging camps. Uh, oh, taxation. We will go to our budget. We have taxes on liquor and tobacco. Uh, we'll take a look at our population and see what the lower strata consumes most. So grain. Tobacco is pretty high, so we probably don't want to tax tobacco so that the lower strata doesn't get affected as much so we'll take off tobacco take a look back at that population liquor is also somewhat high we might leave that on 
Um, services is always a good one. I'm for sure going to do luxury clothing. And we'll do services as well. What I try to do is I look for the authority to income ratio and try to get one that's pretty high on that. It also doesn't affect the pops. I like to lift up the lower and middle strata whenever I play this game. And that's going to be our goal is just have a really high standard of living, really prosperous Spain, and try to put ourselves back into being number one or two spot in the world. Building logging camps. That is all good. Taxation. All right. I think... Oh, we got to declare our interests. So I will declare interest over here in Senegal. And then for diplomacy, we'll want to see... France is pretty cool with us. Great Britain, not so much. Austria is good. We'll improve with two Sicilies. I want to improve with the Ottomans. How much do we have left? We have quite a bit. Um, oh, Portugal, of course. And they do have an obligation with us. We could get a trade agreement with them. Invite to the Customs Union. I could. I really want to try to get them into our customs union. Minus 68. Hmm. I guess we'll get a trade agreement with them now. Using that uh, obligation. They'll accept that. So now we got a trade agreement with Portugal. And let's look at what goods we could possibly ship out. We have a lot of sugar surplus. Um, British will buy 52, the Austrians will buy 18, that sounds good to me. Take a look at the meats, maybe someone will want to buy those. Ching. Oh, we also want to improve relationships with uh, Ching as well. And... Export some guns. Nope. Don't think so. All right. I think at this point, we're good to unpause and start our playthrough. Belgium's improving relations with us. That's good. We'll turn up the speed here. Um, we do have a deficit right now, which is fine. We're just kind of reinvesting that money back into our economy. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll build one of these logging camps, and then after that, we will build a construction sector. Um, who has the most peasants? So we could add one into Valencia, which I think would be a good idea. And we'll add this into the second slot here. Cool, let's take a look at our alerts. Man of Wars on the Spanish market's expensive wood as well i think that once we improve the wood prices over here in western andalusia it should help out with the production of these men of wars and make them more profitable buildings going along good here we go the ethics of exploitation we have the government attempt to pass the colonial exploitation law has brought the ethics of colonialism to the forefront of the public debate well, guys, colonial expectation is morally correct. We'll go with that choice. Uh, take a look at our population again while we're waiting for those buildings to build. Overview. Income is very low for those lower strata. We have another event real quick. Despite many efforts on the part of the government to successfully revive colonial expectation from its present imbroglio, the law has come to be regarded as nothing but an inevitable failure okay so we must sponsor a complete rewrite of the bill plus 10 percent enactment success chance pretty good i think our first logging camp our first couple came online um rural folk will disapprove that's fine we'll do that Got to start thinking about what we're going to build next. Take a look back at that market. Yeah, wood is just... We're really low on wood right now. But once we switch over to those iron frame buildings, it should help out. Um, I'm thinking we add another 
logging camp over to Western Andalusia. And if y'all know how to pronounce that correctly, or if I pronounce anything incorrectly, just go ahead and y'all can tell me how to say it right. Eastern Andalusia. We'll add one to infrastructure's at nine. We'll add one to Toledo. Just try to lower those local prices. We have another event pop up. Uh, pop up. Awesome. So we have a plus 10% enactment success chance. We will go for that. We're now at 22% success. Take a look at our journal. Establish university or patronize romanticism. We could establish a university pretty simply. We have nine years to do that, though. Urbanize Spain. That's going to happen over time. Colonial power. Working towards that right now with colonial exploitation. Men of Wars are still really expensive for us. And I think we're going to add another... Well, how much iron are we producing? We could switch the construction sector here. Pardon. Where do we have a construction sector? Is it over here? I think so, yes, in Valencia. Could switch this over to Iron Frame. And let's see what that does for the demand. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna add a Iron Mine over in Valencia. And we'll add one in Castile. And Aragon as well. We'll actually add a couple over here in Valencia. Does Valencia have coal mines? Yes, it does. It's quite a bit, actually, too. And I think what I want to do as far as expanding territory, um, we will... I like to settle this area here, Susu. I think it's just a really good tile. 22 dye plants or cotton... Uh, 22 dye plantations, 22 cotton plantations, coffee, etc. It's a really good colony to start off with. Um, we did have another event here. Plus 15% enactment success chance. We will take that, even though it'll be at the cost of approval with the armed forces. Um, how are radicals doing? Slowly rising here. But it shouldn't be a problem. Nothing to be concerned about. I think after this logging camp, we'll start getting some more iron mines online. And then after those two iron mines, we'll go ahead and queue up another construction sector. And I would like to add it over to Toledo, I think. And we'll queue that up right after those two iron mines. Perfect. And take a look back at the market more and more wood demand is just increasing as we're getting more wood available our demand is increasing i believe um local prices for wood extremely high in western andalusia and as well as eastern valencia spain uh toledo and castile as well as asturias asturias so we'll need to get more of those online France, very good. Our relations have increased. They've been increasing relationships with us. Um, our GDP has slowly started to grow. Uh, we're not 47% chance for colonial exploitation, and we unlocked the lathe as well for our technology. So we'll take a look at our technology tree. Um, I think we could go for mechanical tools. That seems promising. Or atmospheric engines. I'm kind of torn between the two. This will give us steel tools, precision tools for furniture manufacturers. Um, but the atmospheric pump is just so good for the coal mines, iron mines. I think we will go with the atmospheric engine. We're currently 9 in the world rankings. What is our demand for iron looking like? Okay. Uh, we could actually start switching over the building, the construction build sectors to iron frame buildings. This will add 200 more iron in demand, which 
we could eat the cost for a little bit and slowly get those iron mines online. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, we'll move these iron mines up in the queue. We'll actually put them over the construction sector for right now. Each one of those, how much does it produce currently? 20 iron per level. So we're actually going to need a lot more iron mines. Uh, we'll definitely throw some more down. Maybe two, three more in Castile. Uh, one more in Valencia. And one more. We could go for Galatia. Do they have any buildings that currently require iron? Yes. So if we threw some in Galatia, that would be... Very good for that local economy. Anachronic chance is back up to 47%. We have Mathieu de la Drome has been sent into exile by France. Interesting. Iron shortage, tool shortage. Let's take a look at the tools on the market. We do have quite the tool shortage. So we're going to have to build some uh, tooling workshops. We'll add one in Valencia, Castile. And I think for right now, that should be good. Great Britain declared rivalry against us. Hopefully, nothing too bad will come from that. And we've entered the consideration phase for colonial exploitation. Is there anything we can do? Let's just take a look at some of these buildings and if there's anything we can do to kind of balance out their income. Um, single crop. We could switch this to single crop. This would lower price of grain. Which, are we, I think now we might have a surplus. We do. Okay. We'll just leave that as a single crop for right now. Yeah, wood is just killing the cost of so many of our different industries. So once we get that online, the iron, we'll get the iron. We'll get some wood and I think we'll throw in a tooling sect or tooling industry right after these two logging camps. Um I think I already queued some up. We'll move this up in the queue. Yeah, I think right there is perfect. And then we'll move this guy up to after that steel. We're 220, so our balance is about minus 225 right now. We have 31 construction buildings, 30, 31. We might want to get some more construction sectors online. It will increase the demand for wood and iron. Um, actually, we'll wait until we get this deficit under control. And I think if I'm correct or not mistaken, the tooling workshops add 60 per level. So taking a look at this, we're only 95 deficit right now with tools. So we might want to move this tooling workshop in Castile down a couple and have some iron mines put up in the queue in favor. We have another event here. Awesome, plus 20% uh, enactment success chance, we're in ascent. So it looks like it's very likely we'll get colonial exploitation here shortly. Standard of living has increased slightly. And we're getting more and more loyalist. If we look at, yeah, our, these military shipyards are just not very profitable right now. But I think once we get more tools, more wood that will change because what's hurting it oh iron is we could add an iron mine here to help out the local economy alleviate their concerns hmm 
So we would get plus 25 movement radicalism. Uh, could alleviate their concerns. I think we're going to do that. We also have some excess diplomatic power. Who do we want to improve relations? Maybe the Americans? Yes, we'll do that. And let's take a look at our institutions. We do want to switch off of the... What is it? Uh, let me find it. Why can't I find this? Hold on. The local police force, sorry. We want to switch the local police force over to dedicated police force for sure. And then also the homesteading or the tenant farming. I think that's fine for now. Awesome. We now have colonial exploitation. So we'll take a look over at Suzu and I think we're going to colonize it. And with that colony, I will need a port there, just so it has access. Still have an iron shortage, but that is getting sorted. Um, what else do we have a negative balance of? Luxury clothes are expensive. Do we have any textile mills I could switch? Yes, we do. So that would do more dye. 240. I uh, don't know if we want to switch that. All right, we will switch Valencia, however, over to Craftsman Sewing. And that just imp uh, improved its productivity greatly right there. Um, do we have dye demands now? We have a shortage of silk. I know we have a silk plantation. I think it's over here. Uh, we'll add a silk plantation over to Eastern uh, Andalusia. We really need to sort out this deficit of iron because we're starting to really get a negative balance. How are tools? Tools are fine. I think we'll move the irons up. Perfect. GDP's gone up roughly almost a million since we've started. And take a look at our journal. African colonies, what is this? Is a colony, any Spanish state is a colony on the African continent, spans the entire state region. Now, is there a map filter for state regions? States. Uh, okay. So I think once we get all of Susu and we incorporate it, we'll get that journal entry completed exile at the gates oh we got mass communication who is this guy juan laval he is a landowner uh let's start a movement to enact national guard if invited do, the question is, do we want the National Guard? I think the answer might be no. Minus 5% political movement randoms. Oh, well, this could be a good law for us. 10% revolution progress speed, uh, progression speed, minus 10% secession. He is a land owner though. And I think, I 
think it'll be fine if we inv invite him. So we'll do that. God, we have a huge negative balance, but I, like I said, I think once we get those iron mines online, this will balance out. Yeah, minus 34k for construction goods. We got the paddle streamer unlocked. Nice. We're negative 220. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 120. So that'll put us down to about 100, negative 100 balance, which will take us out of that um, sh good shortage. We have a good shortage of dyes, which we could add some dye plantations over here to Spanish Guinea. And we will do so. Taking a look to see if we have any other excesses of goods and we do with tobacco Let's see if we can find any buyers the ottomans will buy not for much though um maybe liquor we could export some oh look at that the moroccans will buy 33 that's good oh perfect the prussians will buy some of our sugar so will the Russians. Very good. Standard of living is slowly increasing for our country as well as GDP. I do want to increase literacy rate. We'll build some universities here in a little bit after we get these shortages in our market settled. Let's check what alerts we have. Melilia or Melia has a low standard of living could add a logging camp there just to improve their standard of living and offer some good paying jobs to those people so far so good our colony slowly growing how are we on the building queue so the port is about six buildings down so we'll get that finished up and get that dye plantation so that we can get rid of this dye shortage as well for our market we finally got rid of that iron shortage and market price is slowly going down to now where it's only plus 67 percent and i think we'll take a look at technology and start thinking about our next tech uh, military I might want to start thinking about moving towards Quinine, just so we can settle the southern parts of Africa. Pharmaceuticals, what does this do? Plus one max health system institution, private health insurance, and public health insurance. Okay, that could be a good tech to take. How long would that take? Six years, so not quite yet. I think we will go for the mechanical tools. Napoleonic Warfare, that would take 12 to 18 months. Hmm. I think we will go for mechanical tools. We just really want to industrialize Spain right now. We'll take a look back at those local economy prices for wood. Still really high in Toledo. They're starting to drop in other regions. Donation of knowledge. Uh, yeah, sure. You can build a university. That's a wonderful idea. Um, let's take, at law, take a look at laws and see if we want to pass any other law right now. We could do dedicated police force. Land owners oppose this. But that would be fine. We do have an 11% success chance. Hmm. Oligarchy. I think we'll try to stay in oligarchy for as long as possible. Uh, could go with the National Guard. What's the success chance? 16. 
National Guard. No, I think we're going to go dedicated police force. And try to lower the power for the uh, landowners. Slowly eating away at that deficit. We have atmospheric engines now. Good news. Uh, we'll go for mechanical tools. And we'll take a look at our buildings. And see if we can switch these. So that will cost 120 more coal. And 60 more tools. So really, we could only do it in a couple regions of switching this over to the atmospheric engines. Uh, we can do it in Aragon. That's 10 more coal. Yeah, we'll switch Aragon over. We are going to need some coal production now. So Aragon needs some coal. Uh, we'll add some to Castillo, Valencia. Uh, I think that'll be good for now. Dye shortage, silk shortage. Yep, yep, yep. We know that. We will move up this coal mine up in the queue to the third slot. We have a diplomatic play in North Africa. Who is this? Togort. Okay. An ultimatum. Uh, I... Yes. Never interrupt an opponent while they make a mistake. Plus 10% enactment success chance. We will go for that. And it seems like we have gotten the market price of iron to drop to plus 36%. Wood still being very expensive in our market. I believe. Let's check the order of this. Yeah, this looks good. Port, silk plantation, dye, logging camp. And then I think we'll throw in a couple um, logging camps after that. So we'll add one. We already have one queued for Toledo. We will, let's check local prices to see where the best bet would be to add that. Valencia would be a good bet. Another ultimatum event, back to back. And France wants a trade agreement. This is interesting. I think we'll accept that. Hopefully they buy some of the goods that we have surpluses of. And I don't really care that if they don't have the importation tax. Um, because I just, we need to make these other goods more profitable for our people. Furniture, lathes, it's a hundred more. 25 more tools, less laborers. I think we'll do that. And that just helped with productivity. We still have a huge deficit. We might want to move these logging camps up in the queue, actually. Another ultimatum event. We'll just take it. 21% success chance for the dedicated police force. Iron's expensive. Mm. How do I fix this? Maybe add another tax tobacco is very tempting we'll do luxury furniture 
Oh, and something we could also do is increase the resource output, the encourage resource industry over here in Navara. So we get more wood out and more iron as well. So we'll do that. We'll see how that affects some of the good prices and wood starting to fall now. Really the best way to industrialize your nation is to help move some of the peasants into better paying or gainful employment. So as we build up and develop these states with a large peasant population, we'll move the peasants into laborers or other classes or profession that are more gainfully employed, more gainful to work at. Our GDP is now at 11. We're still at 9 with the rank, with Netherlands being ahead of us. I think the standard of living is contributing a lot to that prestige. And our deficit is slowly going down. Good deal. We have another event. Oof. I think we're gonna go for this. What will this do? 10% more bureaucratic pops become radical. No, I think we'll go for this. I think we'll add a couple more iron mines. Um, highest earnings would be in Navara. We'll add one there. That would, could be because of economy of scale. We'll add one to Valencia as well. Shipyards are still not profitable. How much coal do we have? We still have a shortage. Uh, oh, plus 15% interest group attraction. Uh, Raphael, he's a landowner. I think we're in a slander. Oh, establishing a university will time out in three years. Um, we could just add one to the queue really quick. And I think we're going to add one to Castile. And we'll just move this to the top of the queue, knock that out. And we'll move coal up. I, we'll do dyes. Then we'll get some coal. And I think the rest of that looks good. We got intensive agriculture. Um, let's take a look at our rural buildings. If we were to, this would produce a lot more grain. If we did it, take a look over here. Or who has the lowest standard of living? Okay, this state does. Who else? Aragon, pretty low. Asturias is pretty low. We could increase that with doing soil enriched, as well as adding increased wool gathering. So we could get some more fertilizer production as well and fabric. The meat prices are already pretty low, so I think that's a good move. 
Yep, fertilizer prices are still low. We could add some soil enriching here. Who else has some lower standard of living? We'll add soil enriching here. Let's check if there's a deficit of coal, or not coal, fertilizer. Looks like we're still good. The law progressed to consideration. Clothes are starting to become expensive on the market. So we'll finish the die. We'll go into coal. We have still have a shortage here. Uh, oh, we could add uh, atmospheric pumps to the coal. We'll go ahead and do that. Perfect. That might have just solved our coal problem. And it did. Awesome. Um, clothes are extremely expensive. God, we are just so negative. And for them custodianship and we'll bring iron above this coal here now that we've kind of got the coal sorted and then we can start ah uh, there we go we're starting to balance out our economy um we have a coal mine here not yet we have a coal mine here the atmospheric pumps good deal Don't want to switch over any more iron mines with two uh, atmospheric pumps just because we still have a big coal deficit. Not too big, but I think once this coal mine in Castile is done, it should be sorted. Paper in the Spanish market. Where is paper produced? We have a paper mill here in Toledo. So we are getting mechanical tools. Mm. Bessemer process could be good. Just so we can get steel mills and then switch to steel tools. All right, we got banking unlocked, so plus 10% minting and minus 2% loan interest rate. And there we go. Oh, spoke too soon. Looks like we're slowly getting out of this hole. We'll be able to dig ourselves out here sh soon enough. And I think, we, oh, awesome. We also got Napoleonic Warfare. We'll add another mine into Western Andalusia. Make sure our military is up to par. Uh, let's see, sp second or first Spanish army. All right, sweet, so automatically switched them over. Do we have any other surpluses we could export to help solve this deficit? Could get more tobacco to the Qing market. We have Desperate Allies event. Amazing, 20% enactment success chance. Very good. Iron is still, oh man, iron costs are. You know what, are they? Are people buying our iron? They are. Um, 
we might want to put a tariff on them. Yeah, we want to protect our domestic supply of that. France is buying up our iron, which is really kind of hurting our economy right now. But it's also helping our GDP, so it's kind of a catch-22. We'll throw up a few more. Actually, we'll go this coal, the iron, logging camp. And then... That one coal plant should be good enough to solve this issue here. And then we can start switching over the iron mines into atmospheric engines and it should solve our issues. Alright. We're going to say this is a small price to pay for the march of industry. Sorry, not sorry. Public address goes awry. Oof. Uh, I'm going to have him take the blame. And I think we're going to add some clothing. Textile mills. Who has the most peasants? But well, we could add them to uh, Badajoz because their standard of living, I believe, is pretty low. And that could uplift them and add some more better paying jobs. We have the mechanical tools and railway. That We could go for railway. We'll need Bessemer Process first. We'll get Bessemer Process and then we'll go into Railway. Puerto Rico is still having problems with standard of living. Hmm. We have how many peasants? 112,000. We could build a tooling workshop here. Okay, let's take a look down here. Dye workshops are operating. They're not very profitable right now. So we want to switch over some of the clothing buildings to start using some of those dyes. And this could solve the shortage of clothing as well or help address the issue at, the, at minimum. There you go. Now that dye plantation is a lot more productive. Did have a standard of living drop. Valencia, what is your deal? Do we have any trading routes that are just unprofitable? Oh, yep, tools. Uh, this one is, this one's pretty unprofitable. Men of Wars. How much are we exporting? Zero. Okay. I do wish there was something to where your trade routes were a little bit more automated to where you don't have to sit here and constantly go back and forth and check to see if it's profitable or not. Oh, we just... God bless. This deficit is killing me.
we might have expanded the construction sector a little too fast for what our economy could handle at the time. Um, but I have faith we'll sort this. Oh, we have a surplus of iron. That's good. Um, clothes. What else could we be building? Some more wood is always good. We have an ultimatum. And let's take a look at the local prices for wood. Pretty high Valencia. Could add some more logging camps. Right now I'm just taking a look at the buildings to see if there's any way we can increase their productivity. What are wheat prices like? They're pretty expensive right now, so I think we can start switching over some of these wheat farms to soil enriched. And then switch over the cattle farms as well to meet that uh, fertilizer demand. Okay, now the wheat farms are a lot more productive. Take a look at each state. Do we take a look at this one? Rice farms, we could do the same. More farmers. Soil rich, yep, we'll do that. And then we'll add this. Perfect. GDP is now up to 12.3 million. Best for process unlocked. Awesome. We'll do railways. And I think this is a good stopping point for the first episode. Thanks guys for joining. Um, this is my third ever YouTube video I've made, but basically I'm officially going to start YouTubing and playing video games and sharing that whole process with you. Um, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Awesome. Thank you. I'll see y'all next time on Heralds of Hispania.